Hello, this is Paul from Fion Galactic Space Yards. Ken just came back from the States full of energy and a big fan of a series called Stranger Things. And since Halloween's coming up, we're going to try to make something out of that series. Uh, one of those gates with the roots where you go into the upside down world. And we're going to try doing that using fairly normal material which you might have at home as usual. Okay, so we got materials. We decided to make the gate out of styrofoam. Here are some I recuperate from the project. Um, we need some tools. A jigsaw always comes in handy. Gas torch or a hot air gun, pretty good. We need some clean wrap, aluminium foil, hot glue, and hot glue sticks, probably a tacker, screw gun, you always need a screw gun. Uh, we need some tape, we need some sprays, a bit of spray glue, uh, might use a bit of wood glue, sawdust. We got some ground leaves, we probably will need a bunch of them. Then different plastic foils, because we're not sure yet which one's going to be good. This is cover the floor when you're painting, this was the wrapping of something. And among the other plastics, we got some scrap lino leftovers. A lot of this stuff is bought. Um, before you go out buy something, check what you have. Uh, we might use a lot of these old electric pipes. Um, come from construction site leftovers. What else we need? Oh yeah, we got a really nice little light diode strip to light the thing up. Uh, I got a big glove because I'm gonna play with heat. Don't wanna zip my fingers. I got some cutters, some scissors. Probably nothing much that you wouldn't have at home. Let's start. Let's say we have something roughly like this. Let's say that's our basic gate, looks good. We take a cutter. So what I will do, I'll take another piece of styro. I can take smaller ones now maybe. We'll put them over there in the other direction. thing is, we glue the two together. To do that, you get special styrofoam glues, which I don't bother buying. You take something like cutter knife, screwdriver or something. This is even probably too sharp. Take something just to stretch it a bit. Especially around the edges. Okay, we stretch it, we tried it. I use wood glue because it's something that I always have around. If you have a big styro project, maybe you want to check some um, special glues. On styro, the wood glue takes a lot of drying time because it's not porous. Um, so we will screw it together, just like this. I think this is pretty good. For a start. So let's see, we'll make this beautiful female form. Just to remind us, we don't really need this, but we sort of bevel this edge a little bit. Primitive job, but makes it more organic. Again, when you cut like this, 
not towards you, not, not towards people, because the knife's gonna slip and go somewhere. And now, we're gonna have fun and do some stinky stuff. Okay, we went outside because we were gonna generate some fumes. Better outside or breeding equipment and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna flame this a bit. And we're gonna do it for two reasons. This, this part is important. We're gonna shape it with the flame. It's gonna give interesting shapes on this one, I think very suitable for the purpose. And also if you heat up the styrofoam a bit, just even, so, even only so that it uh, gets a little bit out of shape, it hardens enormously. It really becomes very, very permanent. And uh, that's always an advantage. Uh, I also brought a water sprayer. I don't know if this stuff is fireproof or if it'll go up in flames. So it's nice to have a little water or something around. Can be, if you don't have one of these, uh, from a window cleaning flask, something. Next warning, we tend to forget when we play, because this is playing, right? This is styrofoam. There's molten styrofoam and stuff. This stuff will keep its heat for a moment, the molten parts. This here will be all right to touch real quick. Don't stick your fingers in there half a minute later, because there might still be some molten thing. Let it cool down a little bit. And there we go. <laughs> Pretty good for a quick thing. Okay, we burned our shape. It turned out better than I thought. So we're now trying to make something like this. These things in the film have uh, sort of roots coming out. So at the same time, we're going to make a few sort of bases to attach roots to them. We'll make a few root connections. We'll draw those in, let's say, here, something like this, maybe a spider. The cutter knife is the most dangerous tool in the shop as it doesn't make any noise. You don't concentrate on the nap. This thing you could also do very easily with a, a jigsaw. We just started out with styro and cutter knife, but uh, jigsaws and styro are a very good combination, very quick. What we need now is a little edge around here so we can hide the diodes on this side and this side is dark. Uh, this, most of this is gonna be covered in plastic afterwards, but in case there's a hole in the plastic, we see something, we wanna get rid of the purple thing. I should be wearing a mask, but I'm not. I leave doors open, there's two doors, there's a bit of draft. It's good enough for me. It would be more intelligent to wear a mask. Mm. Slurp. Let's see if yellow shows up in this. So I'm gonna go through the people ones, do some mess. You have to watch out when you um, Depending on what styro you use, you can dissolve the whole thing. And in fact, if you spray this and then make coffee, you come back, your piece of work might be gone. This styro, once it's heat, once it's burned, once the thing has been heated, it's extremely resistant to solvents. Let's let it ventilate and let's go have coffee. nicer picture in coffee. It'll taste better in milk, I think. It's a girl. We're going to put our beautiful light diodes in there. Oh, 
Okay, we're getting ready to hot glue this. So just to keep it in place while the hot glue dries, take a box of old nails, stick them in there. We can take them out afterwards. Don't even need to probably, just so it stays in place. Okay, hot glue's dry. We can remove those nails. Now we turn it around. And now we want to diffuse this, these holes. It's a uh, clean wrap. Stuff to wrap your cheese in. That'll probably do the trick best. So we stuff this over there. Spots. These here haven't been burned yet. So they don't look like plastic foil too much anymore. We have spray glue. So spray glue a bit here. Let's see if this sticks enough. Yes, it sticks enough. Oh, excellent. And we crumple it a little bit just to make odd reflections. Now what I want to do is I want to cover this with this plastic so it doesn't rip. At this moment, I, I left some. I leave some stuff sticking over. We'll see the rest afterwards. Might even be helpful. So we want to fix those roots, and there's many ways to do it. You have to do it your way, what you're comfortable with. What I'm looking at is fixing this in here, and then having from the root this come in. You could also permanently fix the root. You could tie wrap it on when you fix it to your house or to whatever place you want to fix it on. Um, I think this is a practical way. Da -da -da. And what I will do now is I will wrap this thing in clean wrap. Pretty much the whole thing. And I'm gonna add some spray glue. And I'm not stretching it too much. I said it holds pretty well, okay? Let's try that. There's this last year's Halloween video, which is pretty much the same trick. Maybe they copied it for a series. I'm pretty sure they did something like this. Definitely some oil with, that with holes burned in it. I'm pretty sure that's what they did. I'm not sure they used kitchen foil like me. Yay. Now, we're gonna spray this side. is dark. And later on it's gonna get some fuzzy things on there. I'm just going to do a quick spray. I'm going to give this thing here one layer of red, or maybe red with a bit of bit of yellow in there. Now we have to let it dry just a few minutes because this is very wet. And if I touch this with the torch, now we're going to have one big flame. 
you never know clean wrap one brand from another some might be more flammable some might not so we keep our handy water sprayer ready for things like this I'm using mini blowtorch uh, you can use the lighters with the blue flame you could probably do it with a bunch of other things I'll see how this reacts we want these light these we want to make holes yeah take the water spray in the other hand because even if you even if you wet something and then you burn over it it makes sometimes more interesting uh, more interesting effects I'm trying to make fairly big holes in fact I'm trying to remove a lot of that plastic because what's underneath is really beautiful yes as in the disclaimer notice and whatever uh, yeah this is stinky stuff I mean this is not healthy there's pretty good ventilation here do the stuff well ventilated wear a mask depending on we got our first layer on it looks really good already uh, one layer is never enough It's fall, it's Halloween season, so we collect some leaves, dry them, and we need this really nice little fuzzy stuff. So, I'm gonna put this in the mixer. Leaves, you know, uh, Halloween happens in autumn, so I'm going to spray glue them. We ground them some in a regular kitchen mixer. So I've already put some on this side, but we're going to put some on here, spray glue, and you can spray under it and over it again, make more stick to it. That's it, we're pretty good. Okay, we got the gate done, we're going to get to the roots. We're going to use these electric pipes, we got a big roll. Well, it's pretty cheap stuff. I use clamp, help get tangled up. We tried out different plastics, different tools. Old lino seems to be the thing. We do an unshapely cut. About this wide seems to be good for the average. We can make wider roots. Give some hot glue. take some paper tape and if you got like a five or six year old that wants to help they can help with this one okay. two strips like this this probably will do the trick okay and I'm I want to do some dead end roots have more of a tree type structure just by adding a piece of this it could also be a piece of rope piece of old cable Y connections and if you ever want to fill your whole facade there's also connection to make further to add further things on okay I want the ends to become a little bit thinner so I was looking for stuff I have some old cable this is of course gonna be wrapped but I might be able to use this also to tie it down somewhere okay we spiraled the tape a bit around uh, it's better if we also do it a bit this way hide the shape make it more rounded 3d ish And here is the end of the first stage. We took lino pieces, we hot glued our electric pipes and cables on it, made some, some Y connections. We wrapped the whole thing very roughly in tape. And that's the first step. Now we're gonna wrap the whole thing in clean wrap. Add some spray glue. 
This here will be our connection to the gate, so I leave a little bit loose. We might add some later on. This here, we're making roots, we're going organic. Isn't it a beauty? Next, we mess it up. We're in the paint room, we got our roots. I'm first gonna put some spray paint on for camouflage. Put some on there. This is just general camo. We have spray glue. I don't care if the paint is dry or not. Think from a fryer. And we throw some on there. We grind them on there. We make it fuzzy. Okay, as a little touch, I'm putting on a little bit of sawdust. Okay. If you just have a few spray cans, don't use too much sawdust. We finished the roots. The fight with the octopus. Now we're going to fix roots to the gate using our super high tech system of shoving this tube into that tube. Anything. Yep. We finished. Five roots, we thought that would be plenty, and I think it is. It's really a fight with the octopus. We've fixed one to our gate. We're now gonna fix a couple of nylon strings onto there, and gonna rig it. It's a rainy night out at Fjallen Galactic Space Yard. We put the thing up with a couple of nylon strings, a couple of tacks. Nothing special. Hide the cable in the tentacles. Um, if you enjoy us doing stuff like that, please subscribe. Encourages us. Leave a comment. Ask a question. All the best.